My name is Natasha Salifianji Kaoma and I'm based in Lusaka, Zambia. I am a medical doctor and I also work with young people from an organization called Copa Rose, which I founded in 2015. I'm really passionate about sexual reproductive health and I'm passionate about women because I believe that women, if empowered, can change the narrative of the African continent. So I started out um, in high school when I noticed a menstrual hygiene problem in, in my school. And not because the girls couldn't afford the products, but most people didn't know what was going on with their bodies. That was the very, very first time I, I thought of, of sexual reproductive health. As I went on into university, I decided to found an organization which was working on menstrual health. And first of all, our, one of the biggest challenges that young people face is a lack of resources. And so what we did is we went out and did a door-to-door -door campaign on our university campus, raised about only $300 and used it to start our first project. But how do you continue to have more projects running? How do you get more people to support you? You can get young people on board, but young people also need to eat and earn a living. And because of that, youth-led organizations have a really high turnover. Most of the subjects that we work with are taboo subjects. First of all, menstrual health is a taboo subject. Like Nobody wants to talk about it. A period is like a secret in plain sight. I always say that because every woman has had a period, will have it, or um, uh, is having their period right now. Other sensitive subjects like abortion, you know, 30% of maternal deaths in Zambia are because of unsafe abortions, but still people don't want to talk about it. And every time you stand up and talk about something like that, you, you, you just seem like a rebel. So um, sensitive subjects are difficult to discuss, especially in a country like Zambia where I come from, because it's a declared Christian. And so that puts you in a position where every time you want to argue, the counter argument is that no, we're a Christian nation. So that becomes a, a really, really big challenge. One way to cope with, with um, the challenges that are faced is to stay in the game. You know, when you stay in this field longer, people begin to give you credit. Like for us as Copper Rose, nobody took us seriously until the Queen of Ling England gave us an award for our work and then everyone's like, oh, who are you? Let's work with you. And so staying in um, brings in long-term returns. Another way that we stay or I stay um, sane and, and keep the organization running is working with others, having a great support system, starting from your family support, your partner or um, um, significant other, and just having a support system really makes this work easier. And also just looking at the results. When you see a girl that dropped out of school going back because of something that you did, or when you see this timid young person become this loud person facilitating sessions, that gives me a sense of satisfaction and that helps me stay longer. Having mentorship really really helps because sometimes they can show you where the resources are but also they can just help cut off the things that are not good for your growth like pruning kind of and help you stay um, the best you can be for 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 greater to achieve greater heights